All right, so today we're gonna to talk about nerve flossing for the upper extremity, so your arms. There's three nerves there that we're going to be flossing. That is your median nerve, your ulnar nerve, and your radial nerve. Your median nerve, you tend to feel symptoms in the first three fingers, the ulnar nerve, the second or the last two fingers, and the radial nerve, you'll feel more on the back of the hand. So nerve symptoms tend to be numbness, tingling. You'll hear us asking you about that quite a bit. So if you have any symptoms like that going down into your hand, Try these at home and see if they help. So this is the median nerve tension. So you're gonna pretend you're holding a platter in your hand, and then you're gonna straighten the arm out, keeping the wrist bent, and then back. So just doing this, you might start to feel some symptoms in these fingers. That's totally normal. It means you probably need to do this more often. So you're just gonna go back and forth, and you can just do a couple of these, just like that. And if you want to add a little more of the flossing action, then you can also use a head tilt. So you can actually tilt towards as you're doing that. So the idea behind these is we want to have the nerve able to move back and forth if you're thinking of the nerve like a spaghetti noodle and it should catch or hit any scar tissue or anything like that because that's where we can get the symptoms from. Okay. Ulnar nerve, so this one was my favorite because you get to make some raccoon eyes with your fingers. So starting kind of same position as the median nerve one, but you're actually going to flip your hand so it's facing up this way, and you want to be able to try and get your fingers around your eye. You don't need to fully do one of these, but as long as you're kind of in this general area, that's great. I'm already feeling <laughs> symptoms in my pinky from doing this. So all you're going to do is the same kind of thing, back and forth sliding that nerve along its path and making sure it's moving the way it's supposed to. So the last one is the radial nerve. This one you're going to go into what's called a waiter's tip position. So what that means is the arm's going to be down at the side and all you're going to do is flex the palm up towards the ceiling and then you're going to go back and that's it for that one. So nice and easy back and forth and you should feel a little bit of something kind of in the top of your hand there. All right.